Hi there! Today we are going to look at A Inc. from uh, Rohrer und Klingner, a manufacturer from Germany located in Leipzig, what used to be the East Germany. And Rohrer und Klingner is one of the most popular ink manufacturers for two reasons. It offers a very wide palette of colored ink um, and their inks are also very friendly for the pen. I'll talk about that a little bit later. We are going to focus today on what so-called iron gold ink. The version that they have is, they have actually two versions. One is salix, which is a little bit gray blue tone and the second one, the one that you see here, is Cabiosa. Kind of a sepia tone and myself so far I haven't tried it. The bottle I purchased it a while ago but I never opened so to me this is very new and I'm gonna share with you some of uh, the first experience with ink I have. These inks are supposed to be uh, permanent inks in the sense that they cannot be washed by water or even uh, erased very easy from the paper after writing. The iron gold inks have been uh, known for a very long time. Uh, while they are permanent, that means the water will not remove them um, they have the disadvantage, they could have the disadvantage that they react with uh, metal in the pen and therefore most of the people recommend that um, a periodic and good hygiene of the pen, the pen has to be washed much more often than usual, at least once a month and also some of the pens depending on the composition of the pen they have to um, you have to watch for any damages and then stop using it if that creates problem as far as i heard the ink from Rohrer und Klingner it should be very fountain pen friendly it has some inhibitors in it and therefore i'm going to also try it on one of my uh, pens which is not so cheap, it's quite expensive from Waterman, the Waterman Karen uh, model. Because the ink color, the, the color of the fountain pen matches the ink color, I'm going to try it uh, and see how, how it is. So, without too much talking, let's start inking up the pen. I have here paper towel. Let's see. Even uh, the color in the cap, you can see it. Yeah. It's Cabiosa. Let me see if I can get this to focus. My camera is very slow when it comes to focusing. I don't know why. There you go. Well, let's see. Okay, now you can see it better, it's sort of a violet looking like. Uh, it's a little bit different from what is depicted here as being a, a sepia tone. But let's see, I'm very interested how how this writes. Inking up the pen. I've reviewed this pen a while ago the Waterman Karen and I said I'm very happy with it it writes fantastically well let's see the color now on the paper towel yes indeed it looks like a violet color and not a sepia tone hmm. interesting okay so it's a little bit misleading the label on the on the bottle it says Cabiosa 
but also what I know about these inks is that they change once on the paper they change color with time so let's have a first trial let's test it now so this is zoom in the camera a little bit all right now we are ready to go so the ink is is from aurora and klingner that's a um, product from germany in leipzig what used to be East Germany so far so good this is a very average paper I see no feathering no um, problems with the ink the color is definitely looking even more different on the paper it's starting to look like that from uh, the label Compare the label color and the paper color. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So this is a Waterman Karen with a medium nib. And we are going to do the water test. But before we do the water test, we should compare it with a normal ink, which is not waterproof nor permanent. And that is from Pelican. It's from Pelican. 800 that is the pen and pelican ink ink which is uh, blue black so we are gonna do on it a water test as well all right for the water test I prepared here a vial filled with water and with an eyedropper i'm going to add a droplet of water on the scabiosa inks from rohrer und Klingner, and one on pelican and uh, smudge it a little bit and see which water which ink passes the water test better so the first one i'm going to add let's see on scabiosa so several drops all right and several drops on pelican ink okay the first impression is that for the rohrer und klingner not too much smudging occurred why for the Pelican inks, the blue black ink starts to smudge a little bit. You can also see it very well, I think, through the camera. But let's start smudging with the finger one of the droplets here on Pelican. Oh, yeah, the ink almost completely goes away. Let me wipe my finger. Let's do the same on the Rohrer und Klinger Scabiosa. Yeah, it looks like nothing happened with this ink. 
no, no, let me switch off the light here. Look like this ink remained intact. I'm not sure how well has dried before we added the water, but it looks like the um, one can still read the text if you remove the water droplets. And while these other inks, which is like a school ink, let's say, um, doesn't stand the water, but this one, which is also more appropriate for let's see, in a notary office or <clears throat> for a signature on a contract that the signature has to be permanent, uh, could be a good, a good idea to purchase the Rohrer und Klinger Scabiosa ink. So far so good. I will give you an update in a while after I finish, I, uh, I finish writing the, all the ink in this pen or I ink it up two or three more times and see the impression or see if the pen has corroded. The reason for corrosion is that this contains uh, gallic acid compounds and related compounds and uh, once it arrives on the paper the iron uh, 2 oxidizes to iron 3 under the action of oxygen and this creates uh, complexes that bind to the paper cellulose in the paper and therefore uh, the ink stays permanently on the paper. Of course I should have tried this test long after I have written uh, down some text so that the iron has time to oxidize and really bind to the chemically bind to the paper to the cellulose in the paper. Now it's been a very short time but still it withstood the water test very well I would say. So let's smudge this completely now. You see the text from the pelican ink completely disappeared. Let's smudge this now. Nothing has happened. So it permanently stays on the paper. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.